Oh, you I'm have on no mute. Balls. I'm on mute. What that, are you was, doing? that was cool. I don't know. I don't know. It's been forever. It's been 16 days since we've done a pod. But or welcome, not. everybody. Welcome to our round of 64 breakdown. Joey Cheese is here. We got Clint. We got Hazmat and Chaz McLong, you know what? And then just my stupidness. Um, so we're gonna go through the through the entire bracket and we're just we're just gonna tell you what we're what we're playing, just straight up. Um, we're gonna try to keep this brief, but just let you know what we're on as a whole, who we like. Uh, we're gonna be picking our winners and yeah, it's gonna it should be fun. So Joey, take it away. Yeah, what up? Uh, glad to be back. Fade you four idiots. Been a while since we've done a pod. Uh, I missed all your beautiful faces. Look forward to seeing a few of you this weekend. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's get into this bracket. I guess let's let's start with the fucking gauntlet that is the fucking East. Uh, UConn Stetson. We're gonna let's let's just bypass that one. We'll just we'll just advance UConn. Uh, Pretty, pretty sure no one here has an opinion on playing Stetson uh, based on our talks. Uh, real intriguing game. Uh, FAU Northwestern. Um, let's start here. Any, anyone have an – Kmart, do you have an opinion here on FAU Northwestern? I mean, I haven't bet anything, but I, I advanced FAU. Yeah, same. I, I I did the same. Clint, any opinion here? FAU Northwest? No player opinion, but yeah, I agree with Kmart. Boo booey. Uh, no boo booey fans. Not after he hit his first 27 threes the other day. It's time to throw up some clanks. You have an opinion here, Chase? No? I went with Northwestern. I'm not playing him with any money. I just picked him in the bracket. Same. Duke? Lean Northwestern. I know our boy Buff says he's going with uh, the experience here, but uh, I go with Senor Gran Dovejo, high proof Blanco. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Kmart's, a, Kmart's a god for putting it up. Who's better than him? Look at that. Um, all right. So, have to do right, something so, after being muted. Yeah. <laughs> Even taking so, the games like Vanna White. This next one, this next one, I know a few of us have uh, not only an opinion but also a play on uh, San Diego State, the five seed playing the red, red hot UAB. Kmart, any opinion here from you? Yeah, well, it's funny. Um, I think you don't click San Diego State until we talk about it, motherfucker. I mean, you just said we all have a play on San Diego <laughs> State, so yeah. you kind of gave it away. Um, wow, there are 46 people watching this thing. <laughs> Let's um, go. So you texted, you know, our group on Sunday night after the show saying, I am going to absolutely nuke San Diego State. And I was like, okay, like I'll, I'll wait and see. You know, they had it on my radar. And then, you know, Monday morning, finally got all the numbers. And I looked and I texted you. I was like, yeah, that's that how whatever your max bet is, whatever you're comfortable with, San Diego State is probably that play for me in the round of 64. Um, easily by far my favorite, just, just the way they match up. Um, you know, I like seeing where the current line is with the Ken Palm line. And I mean, it's not as good as it was because Joey, I think you got five and a half. I got six. It's now at seven. So, uh, I mean, a lot of, a lot of closing line value here, but e easily, easily my favorite play. Duke. I, just, I rode you guys. I uh, I took a look. It looks like UAB is kind of a trendy dog. I like, you know, when whenever you and the boys are on a fave, uh, you know, Clint's a big fave, better likes to lay it between two and six and seven and find those those value plays. So I, uh, I'm i on Aztecs with you guys. Chase? I liked it initially. I didn't like it as much as you did. Uh, I didn't think it was my favorite play, but uh, I was going to – I was going to be on that side anyway, so I, I bet it at five and a half. Clint? Yeah, I just like the fact that UAB probably wasn't planning on being in the tournament. They didn't even have to face Memphis or FAU in the conference tournament. So a little overvalued, I think, with how good they looked against Temple. So give me San Diego State off a loss. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I text uh, – I text uh, – 
well, I, all of our group chats pretty early in selection Sunday and told them, uh, told all you, San Diego State was by far without a doubt my favorite play of the weekend uh, for the opening round. I did get it at five and a half. And unfortunately, I woke up uh, Monday morning and the line had moved so much I couldn't even give it out. Um, I was waiting for it to come back to earth and it's slowly gone up to seven. Um, I think this UAB team is drawn fucking dead. I think they get absolutely blown out the fucking gym. I think I am going to all fucking, line. I, I, I mean, me, me and Buff are going to be going at it in the sports book because he gave out UAB and I'm going to be rubbing it in his face. Like Syracuse just got bounced out the tourney. Um, shit's going to get ugly. Um, I have a million on San Diego state and I think this line is good up to minus 12 and a half. I think they beat the fucking brakes off them. Yep. So there we go. I'm, I advanced San Diego state too. Let's get at it. Uh, Auburn, Yale. Yale is a team that I had, I had some money on uh, earlier in the conference rounds. Uh, found some good value on them. Found a winner. I know they didn't look too good versus Brown. Um, I advanced Auburn, uh, but I think Yale would be the side I'd be looking to play if I played this game. But uh, no action on it for now. Clint, anything here? Uh, no action, but advance Auburn to win. But could see a slow start to where maybe Yale first half would be a good look. Okay. Chase? Chase, are you there? Chase. Did he freeze? Yeah, he's frozen. Dude, what do you got? Yeah, I mean, we talk. I got to love the team that looked like shit against a, a Brown team that's under 500 and making it. They barely snuck by. Uh, you could argue they, they wouldn't even be in the tourney. So uh, eyeing the, the dog. But, yeah, I can see Auburn uh, advancing. I agree. Kmart? Yeah, Auburn's going to advance. Uh, this this is one of my favorite teams in the tournament. I think I think their seeding is is not right. Um, that's a team I look for. They're playing very well. Uh, I hate the matchup in the next round because because I'm biased on it. Um, but but yeah, I think I think Auburn, you know, easily is going to win. I, spread wise, I got nothing on it though. Um, line line seems right to me. So flip a coin and live with it. Yeah. Um B what Duke, can you do me a favor? Can you pull can you pull lines up for the game so we have them readily available while we go through them? B BYU. Did, oh, B I, hold up, hold up. I did I do recall seeing something. It's um I forget the Twitter handle, it's like Clavetta or something. They do just all the statistics. And I was that reading something good. a couple hours ago where they were saying Auburn is a play because every time they've played a team outside the top 85 in Ken Palm, as you like to say, they've blown the brakes off of them. Um, Yale's played two teams ranked in the top 25, lost by 15 in both. So that's a small sample, but Auburn's like 8-0 or something. So the trends, the numbers for the season would back Auburn in this play if you're looking for a spread bet. Okay. Nice. Uh, B BYU Duquesne. Uh, Chase, you got anything here? I really like this BYU team. Um, I, my worry with Duquesne is I think this is their first conference championship since the 70s. Uh, so, uh, you know, look, that's kind of the peak of the peak. Maybe they've overachieved. I would look for a little bit of a pullback. And I do think BYU's a, a pretty solid team. Um, you know, some of the seedings in this East bracket are brutal. So uh, I, I would lean BYU. Clint? Yeah, lean BYU. I didn't jump on the seven and a half and it got steamed up to 10. Now, is it down nine and a half now? But would would jump in live if Duquesne came out and made a couple shots early. Yeah, I agree. Um, so I know we've talked about it in our group chat. So I don't, I don't post, I know this, this is like a group bracket. I don't really post my bracket, but I have BYU winning the East. Uh, this is a team that shoots over 50% of their field goal attempts from the three-point line. These white boys bang threes like it's no one's business. Uh, this this is a team that I look for to continue to stay hot. I, I think this team makes a real run in the East. Uh, yeah. 
All right, let's move on. Let's, we'll start with Chase here. I know Chase, a big Illinois guy. Illinois, Illinois, Moorhead State. What do you got here? Against the spread, I don't really have a strong opinion. Uh, I mean, Illinois is a ginormous team. Their smallest starter is six foot six. So obviously that's going to present a size matchup problem for Moorhead State, but they can't play fucking any defense, dude. They they give up a million points every game. So anytime you're covering a, a big number when you have a team that doesn't play a lot of defense, you know, I think Illinois wins the game, but whether they cover or not, I have no idea. Yeah, I think I think we're across the board here on Illinois. Um, Hazmat Soup, what do you got? Uh, what do you got here on Washington State? State Drake seems to be uh, one of those yeah. one of those heavy heavy public dogs here. Flip to favorite. Flip. Yeah, I'm still looking at this. Still like early lean. You know, a lot of times we look and we say what our initial lean was and. It was Drake. You know, you look at the lower, you want to look at those lower seated teams that maybe have value. But uh, yeah, like you said, uh, 10, 15 minutes ago on your timeline, it sure seems like they already played the game. So um, makes you step back and take a second look. Uh, you know, Clint and I were talking, we know Wazoo has, they, they went on a run. We know they have the power to win games. They went into Arizona and fucking punched them in the face. So, uh, you know, which team? Well, they beat the that? shit out of Arizona twice. Yeah. So. We'll see, but lean wazoo. Yeah. Clint, I know you have an opinion on this game. Real quick, what do you got? Yeah, I've already bet Drake money line. It's not a big bet, but I do have money on it. So I'm gonna stay with it. Uh best player on the floor, Derek DeBreeze. I'm gonna we're gonna count on him to have a good game. But like you said, coin flip game here. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um Kmart, anything here? I lean Washington State. No money on it yet, but I, uh, I think by by game time, I'll probably be betting Washington State here. Yeah, I uh, I also lean Washington State here, uh, not just for the sole purpose that every single person I've talked to in America says Drake is the the sleeper coming out this com- coming out of the East. Uh, I I just I think their Cinderella story comes to an end before it gets started. Um, so yeah, let's move on. Iowa state, South Dakota, Duke, what do you got here? Uh, Lean. I mean, lean, you know, we know these 15 seeds can, you know, one of them might pull the upset. We've seen them, but uh, I mean, I, I lean, uh, taking the points. I know, you know, Clinton, I rode them to a nice tourney win, got them at plus money. They've been covering for us. So, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll reevaluate, you know, I'm happy I'm going to be on the East Coast this weekend. I got extra time, three extra hours to to dig into it and and fade all my mushes who text me. So, yeah, those those of you that don't know, I see Kmar. How many people you see in the group in the chat right now, or how many people are watching? One thirty six. Let's go. We appreciate that's, that's all on of you. YouTube. Let's go. We appreciate all. That's of you. just YouTube. Not to mention who's ever watching let's, on X. Let's go. Those of you that don't know. Three out of five of the boys will be at Turning Stone in Verona, New York, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come support. We got a Viva Tequila Seltzer Party Friday and Saturday with uh, CT Betts, Adam Trigger, Brian Power, uh, Mark Zeno, a- our boy AK is going to be in the building. Uh, myself, Hazmat Suit, and Clint will be there. Um, As of eight hours ago, we thought yeah, I was going to be our, there. <laughs> our, our boy Jay, Jay, Buff, our boy Jay Buff is in the building. David Hawkins, you better show up. Yep. So, uh, good chance. Barb and Rusty, couple, you know, a couple good buddies of mine from my hometown show up. But uh, yeah, come on out to Turning Stone and let's get fucked up together and cash some tickets. Uh, let's move on to the West. Just move North Carolina up and save a little bit of time. Nobody's betting that game. I know we've all talked. Mississippi State versus Michigan State. Uh, I think this line is Michigan State minus one and a half still. Duke? Cool. Good talk. Okay, you see a line on this game? It's minus one. It's getting hot up in here. Uh, Yeah, lean lean Bulldogs uh, just because I've just – I mean, they were – you and I were on – Sparty a few days ago, you know, I, I was telling you it's never fun to lay it 
you know, they covered the seven, whatever, six and a half, whatever it was. And uh, I don't know. I mean, but it's like hard, you know, this Izzo teams have, we've seen them limp in and actually make plays. I know CT posted uh, Mississippi state. So lean that way too, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. Chase, anything here? Tom Izzo, March. Can't, can't bet against him. Fuck. That's the only thing that kills me on this game. Hate betting against Izzo. Clint, what do you got here? The only thing about this game is that Miss, Mississippi State this year is 9-0 and ATS on neutral court. Neutral court. I'm glad someone said it. I was going to say it. You beat me to it. Yeah. Yeah. So I would lean with dogs. Yeah. My uh, my initial look here was Michigan State. Um, those of you know, I was on Michigan State pretty heavy last week. Um, that blowout winner. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the dogs or pass here for me. Um, it's Michigan. Something ain't right with this Michigan State team. Uh, I could see Mississippi State winning this game comfortably. So, yeah, let's move on. Another big game here. Clint, I'm going to start with you out here. St. Mary's Grand Canyon. What do you got? This, I think if there's a 5-12 upset, it might be this game. Just because St. Mary's, they're going to play as slow as they can, which is going to keep the game close. But I think Grand Canyon's athletic enough that St. Mary's going to have trouble guarding them. So I'll take I'll take the 12 seed Grand Canyon. Nice. I'm seeing a lot of people on Grand Canyon that I respect. Kmart, what do you got here? I would love to see Grand Canyon win. I would love to see it. They've won me a lot of money in the past five years, but um, I'm I'm advancing St. Mary's. <clears throat> I think in my fun bracket, I have Grand Canyon advancing, but um, in reality, I think St. Mary's will find a way. Yeah, this, this is that 5-12 matchup that I wouldn't be shocked to see Grand Canyon win this game. Um, I advance St. Mary's in my bracket, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if Grand Canyon shocked some people here. Chase, what do you got here? Anything? I like St. Mary's because they're very good at forcing people to play their way. Um, so, you know, I think in a, in a tournament setting, you know, they're used to doing that. So it's always kind of a push pull. I mean, teams like Gonzaga that want to run it up tempo and things like that, like St. Mary's is really good at making you play in the mud. I think that translates well this time of year. They are Duke. You're the tiebreaker. What do you got here? Uh, I leaned the way, uh, Clinton was talking about JM. They got a lot of sharp money on, uh, St. Mary's. No, uh, sweet 16 got steamed up almost a hundred, uh, points or uh juice wise so i i'd lean you know an upset but uh wrong one shot, Kmart. if they you know squeeze out a three-point win gcu covers okay yeah all right it's, it's an interesting game here i saw the uh total was the highest total to date in march madness history uh what is the live total here does anyone see it can anybody tweet, uh, tweet out to Ralph like, hey, uh, if they've previously been this high, do they tend to fly or do they is, is the value on the under? Or they tend to die. What yeah. is it, 179 and a half or something? Anyone no. anyone have a live line? I thought I saw 173. Yeah, I saw 172 or 173. I don't think it was quite that high. Yeah, I, I mean, I knew the number was astronomical. At that mm -hmm. point, you might as well make it 190. People can't <laughs> stop that in the fucking over. Um, I'll, I'll start here. I advanced Charleston in my bracket. Um, I think this Alabama team away from home is absolutely fucking garbage. Um, away from home, they cannot stop a nosebleed. Not that they can at home, but this is a team that's they, – they've been reeling lately. Uh, I, I don't know off the top of my head. I'd have to go into my notes, but I think they've lost four out of five games. Five? Five, five out of ten. Five out of six, yeah. I, I knew – I think what one of two to Florida, two to Tennessee, right? Something like that. Um, this this is an Alabama team that can't get out of their own fucking way right now, and this is a Charleston team that could put up points like quick. Um, I think Charleston wins this game in a fucking boat race, uh, like 97, 92, or something fucking wild. Uh, so yeah, I. I advanced Charleston in my bracket. Clint, what do you got here? The only thing about that total is that in order to get over it, you have to make your shots, and Alabama is not shooting the ball well right now. So I could see Charleston putting up 85 points, but if Alabama stays in the 70s, this total's not going over. 
So I I would go with Charleston on the side. My man, Chase, what do you got here, real quick? I took thirteen. I took thirteen seed Charleston too. That's who I have advanced. Oh, we didn't even talk about this game. Let's go, (laughs) Duke. What do you got here? Nothing yet. Haven't really. Really cool. Figured. You'll be on Charleston. You on Charleston with the boys. I think I know Bama is dog shit uh, in terms of defense. I think they're what lower seventy five or something like that, lower fifty. So yeah. bottom of the barrel. I don't. I don't like this time of year. I don't like any team that can't put teams away. Even if Alabama jumps out to a lead, they just let you back in. They don't put teams away. Yeah, they suck. Kmar, I want to start with you here. What do you got on uh, Clemson, New Mexico, in another highly anticipated game that? We've talked about in our group chat now for 48 hours straight. Yeah, so I think when this line first came out, I thought I was going to put put a mother load on, on New Mexico, but I've shifted that. Um, I'm now leaning Clemson. I haven't bet this game yet, but I'm definitely wait, waiting to see kind of kind of what the line's going to do, where the money's at. But bracket-wise, bracket wise, I, I just put Clemson through. Has uh yeah clemson uh just uh as kelly if anybody watched kelly's show with jm earlier you know we mentioned shout to steve mackin he always has really good numbers mountain we call them the mountain west the mountain worst in the uh in the last 20 years they're like three and fucking three and 33 and 32 five and 28 and two against the spread it's just been god awful anybody that's been eight an eight seed or lower, obviously, uh, New Mexico as an eleven seed would qualify. So, gonna gonna ride that wave. So my initial my initial read here was New Mexico right out the gate, um, and after digging into it a little bit, I uh, I feel more comfortable putting my money on the best player on the court, PJ Hall. Um, I I could see Clemson I could see Clemson winning this game comfortably. So. We will see. Clint, what do you got here? The exact same that Kmart said. Just repeat what he what he said. <laughs> Kmart on repeat. Got it. Yeah. Um, all right, let's uh move them on. Chase, what do you got here on Baylor Colgate? Anything? <laughs> Contrasting styles. I love teams that are more athletic and rely on athleticism versus that we're gonna play discipline, screen off the ball, because that's the only thing they can do. I just can't make myself pick Colgate. I'd love to, but I can't do it. Baylor probably makes 74 three-pointers in this game. Yeah. Colgate can't defend the three. Baylor bangs them like it's no one's business. Let's move on. Dayton, Nevada. Another, it's a good one. Kmart, what do you got here? Yeah. Um, so, so I lost a lot last, last year on Thursdays, on the Thursday games, mainly because I was going Mountain West. Um, you know, to kind of go off what you're saying in the, in the previous segment here, um, this game's tough, this game's close, but I do have Dayton, uh, winning this game and I did put money on Dayton to win. So I got them plus one, um, currently. So yeah, just, just a few metrics I look at, they clicked on it. Um, so I'm, I'm pulling the trigger on Dayton. Nice. Clint, any opinion here? No. Sweet. Nice, nice and easy. Gotcha. So who's Chase, what you got here? <laughs> Chase, what do you got here? I picked Nevada. I've watched several of their games this year. I like that team a lot. I honestly haven't spent a ton of time watching Dayton, so it's it's not a super strong opinion. Probably not going to bet it, but I did take Nevada. My big problem here is I think Dayton fucking sucks, but I think Nevada is overvalued here. So I'm in a tough spot. I'm gonna let Kmart. I'm gonna let uh, Duke finish this one off. Dayton, Nevada. Which one you got? Well, obviously the fade the Mountain West, but uh, yeah, I've just heard people. You know, Dayton's kind of limping in. They look like shit. Um, turning. Uh, they shouldn't be here. I've heard all this stuff. So all these narratives. So I'm gonna lean Flyers, but I didn't know Kmart fired it. So that's good news. All right, advance uh, Arizona. No reason to talk about that game. I know none of us are betting it. <laughs> Fuck it. Put Long Beach in. Long, just uh, Long Beach money line. Go to the south. So we got an interesting game here. Uh, someone, 
Clint, uh, Clint or Duke, pull up that pull up that text that was sent to us in our group chat by Kelly. Well, I'm going to read that. Duke, go ahead. I got to use my phone for the camera. Oh. It, Which one? The St. Peter's oral. That Remember that text uh, earlier? Oh, like yeah, a phallic. Cool. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. yeah. Was, uh, uh, Longwood is the one to fit the criteria. Since 2021. It was in every tournament since 2021. So that's like only the last couple of years. The top two seeds have lost to a phallic sap slash euphemistic name oral defeats ohio state saint long john peters defeats kentucky and fairly dickinson beats purdue that's three years in a row once it's long what is the only one that meets the criteria this year right yeah more head would meet the criteria but they're not 15 or 16 seed right so yeah, long story short, uh, wouldn't be shocked to see Houston lose this game. We all know that they are anemic <laughs> on the offensive end. This fucking team can't score. Uh, let's go on. Nebraska, Texas A and M. Clint, what do you got here? Uh, I posted it. I, this was one of my first games that I bet. I took Nebraska. Uh, Texas A and M has changed the way they're playing. They're playing faster, and they only have one real scorer, Taylor, their point guard. He can put up points, but yeah, count on other guys to make shots. Nebraska has enough shooters that they can win this game. And I got this at minus one and a half. So right now, I would take the money line if you're looking Nebraska. They got that fucking Hawaiian kid or whatever the fuck he is. That kid's nasty. <laughs> he is Japanese as hell. <laughs> whatever the fuck he is. That kid is filthy. Back, to go back a few games – just, you just got word on Trent's bracket to go back a few games. He has Mississippi State all the way to the Final Four, so now we are all large on uh, Tom Izzo, round one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Trent, Trent, can't, Trent and, can't lose them all. I actually like Michigan State in this game. And Clint, yes. I pulled this out for you, Clint. Let's, Let's fucking go, motherfuckers. We're dude. fucking Huskers out. Lefty is going to shoot the fucking lights out. He might. Let's go. Let's talk about Wisconsin, James Madison. This is a James, one of four teams that has over 30 wins this year. Uh, James Madison looks like a public dog here. Um, I'll, I'll be brief. It's, it's Wisconsin or pass for me. Uh, there is a very good chance that I end up coming in with some dough on Wisconsin in this game. Uh, nothing official yet, but uh, Wisconsin is on my radar. A um, couple things holding me back from it at this moment, but uh, we'll see what happens. Kmart, what do you got here? Yeah, Wisconsin. Um, I, I was just late to the party. If I could have, if I could have ran my numbers when this was four and a half, I would have, I would have probably put as much as I did on San Diego state. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting on that line to hopefully come down because that line shot up to six saw it back at five and a half today so i'm hoping to somehow get it back at four and a half four and then i'm probably gonna put a lot on it nice duke what do you got here i i rode uh hawkins likes it yeah clint if hawk yeah hawks on it clint my favorite one of my favorite canadians Yes, sir. He better get there to uh, turning stone. But yeah, I'm on whiskey. Uh, why is the 30, 30 win team catching points to a team we know uh, nobody likes betting whiskey as a favorite? But that's why it's disgusting. Give it to this me. This is Wisconsin's highest scoring team in like 13 years or something like that. I read. Um, team could score points. Uh, yeah, it's Wisconsin or pass here for me. Uh, Cl- uh, Chase, any opinion on this game before we move on? Yeah, real quick. I mean, the only concern I have with Big Ten teams and why I think they've been mostly garbage um, tournament-wise, Purdue loses early every year. Illinois has been underperforming. If you ever watch a Big Ten basketball game, it's like a football game. So I think a lot of this comes down to the officiating. If they let them play physical, Wisconsin will beat them up, have no problems. If they're going to call a lot of ticky-tack fouls, I, I'm not near as confident in this. Yeah. Where's Clint? Is Clint gone? No, I'm here. Oh, the chat is covering your face. All right. Hi, Clint. Hey. Do you have an opinion? No, put the chat back up, Kmart, so I can see it. 
Clint, what do you got? Uh, this was the first game I bet. I took Wisconsin three and a half. Wow. A what, a fuck, what a shark. What I, a, I knew what James nice was going to be the public dog as soon as Seth Davis picked them to the final four. I've been on James Madison a lot the last two years, and I know they they got a very good offense. They're well coached, but as soon as they put them as a dog of less than six, I knew it was going to be public. Clint fucking sniped it. My guy. Kmart, anything up comes up on the YouTube chat? Can you throw it up, please? I will. Thank you. Um, all right, yeah, let's uh let's jump on over. Interesting matchup here, man. Duke, Vermont. This Vermont team is fucking pretty good, dude. Um, I don't I don't know if I'm ballsy enough to go out on a whim and say that they beat Duke here. But uh because Hazmat Sue is Duke and he's my motherfucking guy, I I can't play Vermont in this spot. I can't. It's Duke or pass for me. Chase, what do you got here? You can't. Fucking play Vermont? Come on now. I, I kind of like Vermont against what, the numbers. I, was the I couldn't I couldn't get to the to the window to pick them to win outright, but if I was gonna play it against the number, I'd take Vermont. Duke, what do you got here? <laughs> Haven't done it yet. I uh, love the love to fade the Dukies uh in the I mean, look at what they just did to their fans. Hilarious uh losses recently. So would love to take those points. If they get fucking blown out, no worries. I'll fucking come back with a hammer cock later in the day with Clint and Cheese. All right, let's advance Duke there. That's a big game I really wanted to get into here. Kmart, why don't you start us off? Uh, this was one of, one of the other first texts I sent to the group along with San Diego State. Uh, do you have an opinion here on Texas Tech, NC State? Yeah, Texas Tech. That's it. <laughs> nice. Love that breakdown. Dude, Texas Tech. Dude, what do you got here? They, I mean, if you want me to break it down a little bit, they can score. Um, NC State just went through a gauntlet um, themselves. Yeah. They're going to be tired. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going with yeah. Texas Tech. Like, like to fade the teams off conference championships. Uh, Clint likes it. He's... He uh, laid it. I think a couple other sharp dudes uh, I follow kind of like it. So, uh, and then what'd you send us? Uh, cheese that it's like the most picked Sweet 16 team is NC State or some shit. Uh, dude, we've sent so much shit back and forth the last couple of days. I don't even remember. Um, real quick, my opinion here there's a 97.5% chance I post Texas Tech. I end up getting to the window on them. This is a spot. I am looking to probably capitalize with a larger type unit sizing. Um, I think Texas Tech could beat the fucking breaks off of NC State. NC State just made their run. It was fun. Time to pack it up, boys. We'll, we'll see you in November. Uh, Chase, what do you got here? I'll probably follow you guys. Um, you know, I lean Texas Tech, but not near as strong as the rest of you. So I will. Uh, I'll probably just tell you. Clint? Yeah. NC State having to beat Duke, North Carolina, and Virginia all within five days. That That's their season. So Yeah. They just won their national championship. Yeah. So Tech is my favorite bet of the weekend so far. Let's go. We're going to be together smashing Vivas, doing shots of fucking tequila. That's, fucking. that's one of the late games, too, so we will be pretty tuned up. I mean, I'm going to be tuned up by the 2 o'clock game. So, yeah. Um, all right, Kentucky, Oakland. Move. Anyone have anyone bet in Oakland here? Let's go, Chase. What do you got? I love Oakland. Um, Thirteen and a half is too many. Kentucky's another team that plays virtually no defense. Um, Zero. Yep. Zero defense. So you know they may put up ninety-five points, but they'll give up ninety-four. Um, does Oakland win outright? I don't know. I like their coach. He's been there a long time. He's got a lot of experience. Um, so to me, I, I definitely lean Oakland against the number, whether they actually get the outright, that's a big question mark. I, I just want to say live on pod. This, this is the, this is the matchup where I will not, I will not be shocked if Oakland wins this fucking game. That's what I think. Won't be shocked. Not one bit, not one bit. I, uh, I have Kentucky winning one game in this tournament. 
and I wouldn't be shocked if they win zero. So let's move on. I know we didn't talk about the play-in game, so we'll we'll just say Florida versus the winner of Boise State, Colorado. Um, I, I played Florida. Florida looks pretty good right now. Um, I do think Boise State, if, if they beat Colorado, they have a real shot to win that game versus Florida. But no, no strong leans. Anyone have a real opinion here? No, mine's 50-50. I think Florida advances if it's Boise. I think Colorado yeah. beats Florida. Does anyone have a problem with moving Florida? No. No? Move Florida. No. Move Florida. All right. Um, we know Tyler Kolex out. I don't I don't think he's – I don't. I haven't heard if he's going to be back for uh, – Opening opening weekend, but uh, I don't see Western Kentucky beating Marquette either. Uh, same would go for Purdue. I don't see. I mean, we know that they are straight pile of fucking garbage. I don't think they go far, but I don't see them losing. Utah State TCU. This is another good one. I think this falls into the uh, Mountain West fucking uh, trend that we were just talking about. Duke, you have an opinion here? Nice. Good talk, Duke. Clint, you got an opinion here? Crushed it. No opinion, but would lean TCU right now. Kmart? I really want to bet Utah State, but I've been burned so many times on, on that conference, man. So I, I'm – We're in the same – we're yeah, in the same I, boat, like, dude. I went like, over really want opening yeah, weekend last yeah, year. Dude, I was down day. so much last Thursday. And then, for, then I went like on the nine and one run once the Mountain West minus San Diego State was dead. Um, You're talking first Thursday last year. Yeah. 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 yeah same here. I went like, 0 4 on the Mountain West. I was down a mortgage, like, and then made it all back. Oh, um, I was down three mortgages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, uh, TCU is advancing for me. Yeah. I agree. Let's go to this Gonzaga McNeese game, which is uh, interesting. Mike. Gonzaga is another spot where I I would say it's more likely than not I post a Gonzaga ticket before this game starts. Um, McNeese looks like a public dog. They haven't seen the talent of Gonzaga. Um, I, I I like I like this Gonzaga team to make a little run. I think they could win a few games in this tournament. Wouldn't be shocked to see this team in the Sweet Sixteen. Or the Elite Eight. Um, just my opinion. But yeah, I'll probably get to the window on Gonzaga. Minus five and a half, minus six, minus seven, minus nine and a half. Wherever the fuck it ends up. I think they blow them up. Clint, opinion. Yeah, I'm right there with you. The bet that I might that I'll probably make is Gonzaga to the Sweet 16, especially with the news that we got on the next game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the next one. Clint, why don't you uh, lead us off there? Why don't you share the news with uh, Kansas Stanford? That uh, Kevin McCall, that Kevin McCuller is done for the year for Kansas. So, yep. And Hunter Dickinson is nowhere near 100%. No. So depth is going to be the biggest issue, and they will be playing at Salt Lake at elevation. So with a short bench and the pace that Sanford plays at, the side would be Sanford now. Yeah, I, I mean, I strongly disagree with you. Um, oh. I, we've talked about this all week in our group chat. Um, for me, it's Kansas's three through seven are better than Sanford's one through five. I would say the seventh best player on Kansas's roster fucking becomes an all star standout leading scorer in Sanford fucking school history. If they play for Sanford, um, I, I can't. I I know Sanford got bet down. Kansas opened minus nine and a half. What are we seeing now? There's six and a half, seven six and a half out there. I saw seven on DraftKings right now. Yeah, I mean, at, at what at what point is enough enough? Yeah, if, um, if, it, if it goes down to six, I'm I'll be on Kansas. They'll get yeah. me enough to bet Kansas. My my major deciding factor in playing this game here is going to be how I feel before game time because a I don't want to be on opposite side of Clint. And B, may, maybe I'm just being fucking stubborn here. Maybe I'm just I, like I'm willing to admit that. Maybe I'm just being stubborn. Um, yeah. So that's that. I think we could all agree though. Kansas wins this game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move them along. South Carolina, Oregon. This is a big one. 
Let's start with some of you boys out west. Kmart, what do you got here? Man, I don't have any action on it, really. Um, I've kind of tossed it around, but I think I finally settled on on South Carolina. Another another conference that doesn't play well in the tournament is the bye-bye Pac-12. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I got a small lean on South Carolina. I think it's going to be a close game. It, again, it's, it's, it's a coin flip. It, it's... Six and eleven, they're they're so close to each other. It's you know, it's it's still hard to pick these ones. Yeah. Well, I'm looking to start some shit here. So Clint, why don't you start next? All right. No action on it, but would lean South Carolina. Oh, I thought you bet Oregon. Did you didn't no. bet Oregon? I pick me, pick me. On this game yet. Oh, I thought you had Oregon. That's why I was trying to start some shit. Never oh, mind. No. All right. I fucked I'll up. I'll, I'll start shit. I'm, I'm taking Oregon. Oh, there. I knew some. Maybe it was you. All right. Other group chat. I, I knew someone. Someone sent Oregon. I just wasn't sure who. Yep. I'll be taking Oregon. More. Oh, I haven't bet it yet, but I'm going to. Um, I, I I have nothing against South Carolina. Dana Altman's been a stud in the tournament. So, you know, I get a really well-coached team uh, with a coach that's got a lot of experience in this space. Uh, I'm going to lean Oregon. All right. Duke, uh, Duke you have an opinion here? Yeah, I texted a group earlier that, yeah, I was surprised that he's never lost a first-round game. Um, obviously, he's been super favored the years that he's been higher seeded. But, uh, I mean, to get him close to a pick him, I lean that way. I think the Cox have been a little bit overvalued uh, coming in here. But uh, we'll see. I'll get a, a little bit better feel there when we're there in Turning Stone. But lean the Ducks right now. Yeah, this is a game I looked at for quite some time. and. I had some really, I had, I had a really strong opinion on South Carolina. Then I woke up in the morning. I had a really strong opinion on Oregon. This, this is a game that I'm going to stay the fuck away from. Uh, normally, when I start going back and forth, I can't figure out what's up or fucking down. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, advance, advance whoever. I mean, what do we got? Two, two verse one for South Carolina. So, I guess it's South Carolina moving on, right? Uh, Crate and Akron. No fucking secret where we're going here. Wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised if Akron covered this spread. Uh, not gonna throw it out there, but we know some we know some pretty sharp guys that you know seem to favor Akron with the points here. Um, my my personal opinion is Creighton fucking lights up the scoreboard and beats the fucking piss out of them. But uh, it's not a game I'm gonna have action on. Texas versus the winner of Colorado State, UVA. Anyone have a spot here? Clint, nothing? Nothing. Chase? I got not a thing here. All right. I, I've been battling this. I mean, the, the play-in game. Like, I, I've, I've been wanting to play Colorado State, but I'm just like, man, everyone's so down on Virginia. That's kind of the square side. And and then I, I just got I just got a notification that Dennis is on Colorado State, so I think I'm going to put a little pizza money on on Virginia. For um, those of you that don't know, Dennis is a guy that we actively fade uh, just for fun. He's career fucking Trent trash. So um, yeah, except well, on except on holidays, he was, uh, he was on Howard. Yeah, how'd that work out? And, yeah. Yeah, first seven game. Yeah, except for the Christmas Day massacre, but uh, yeah, it's been a couple uh, of those. T- Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee, St. Peter's, St. Peter's all the way money line. Ooh, I'm, wow, just, kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, just know, I just know Chase really likes Tennessee. So yeah, we're gonna have some problems there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I don't see a world where St. Peter's uh, repeats what they did with fucking what, what was that dude's name, Ecker or. He ended up transferring to Brian. Who's the kid that transferred from St. Peter's to Brian after that run? Doug, Doug Eckert. Doug. Remember him? Remember the St. Peter's run? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So listen, we could uh we could do one or two things. It's up to you guys. We're already 45 minutes in. We could each briefly just run through our final four if you want, or we could continue for another 15 minutes and break down each game. What do you guys want to do? I- I'm down for either. I mean, if, you, if we're if we're gonna break down the games, let's just go quick. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now let's just now let's just make picks. Start back yeah. at the top. Start back at the east. 
Run it back, Kmart. All right, UConn FAU. Uh, is UConn. If, if, UConn. If, this, if this if this is the matchup we get, is anybody here playing FAU to advance? No, I agree. No, San Diego State Auburn. Auburn. I, I, I can Auburn. I can I can make I can make a case for San Diego State. So, so can I? This is why I was saying it pains me because I I want San Diego State to win, but Auburn is is playing like a two seed right now. Shit, I, I'd even I'd even take them as a one over North Carolina. What a bad draw! Pump, pump, pump your brakes a little bit there. Take them over UNC as a one. Stop it. UNC is not a one. Um, Ladi is nasty for San Diego State. Uh, yeah, I mean I I do have Auburn advancing here in my bracket. This is actually the exact matchup I have. So, any anyone have a problem with advancing Auburn? Nope. Oh, go no. Ahead. All right, let's go. Here, here we go. BYU, Illinois. Uh, Clint, what do you got? I'm taking BYU. Yeah, I mean. No, no, no description. Just advance them. I think they can score enough points. Like you said earlier, Illinois can't stop anybody. And that favors BYU in this matchup. This is a game. This is, a game. This is exact exact matchup I have, and I'm sure 90% of America have in this uh, round of 32. I think BYU could score a hundred in this game. Yep. Chase, opinion. Duke, opinion. Terrence Shannon's the only savior, man. If he can, yeah, he can say it. 40. I bet on Terrence Shannon. <laughs> you like you like Illinois? Came There's on? Mormons playing I'm in this game. Yeah, that. in this I, game, I would. I, like I would take Illinois based on size. That's it. Duke, you're the you're the deciding factor. What do you got here? BYU, Illinois. Uh, Take a shitter my dad's down the name pond. is Joseph Smith. Therefore, I'm on BYU. The Storm and Mormon. The Golden Let's Place. go. Advance the fucking Mormons. <laughs> Let's go. Washington State, Iowa State. Anyone making a case for Washington State? No. No. Nope. And or Drake. And or Drake in this spot? No, no. Right. I agree. All right, slide it. North Carolina, Michigan State. Any. Assuming, assuming it's Michigan State or Mississippi State, assuming this is what we got, is anyone fading the Tar Heels? I want to so bad, but I can't. If it's Michigan State, I, I will be betting Michigan State. Ooh. Cool. What about advancing in the bracket? Because this is bracketology. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I agree. North Carolina. All right. This is a fun one. I want Clint's opinion here. Clint, Grand Canyon, Charleston. What do you got? If this is the matchup, I like Grand Canyon. Me too. They got the, they got the best player on the court in this game. Yeah. I mean, I like them against Alabama too. Yes. So I, I would agree with that. So if Grand Canyon advances at, through the first round, I like them to Sweet 16. Wow. I might have to fucking bet them they'll go to Sweet 16 now. That'd be a uh, nice I'm not even going to argue with you guys. I didn't have a super strong opinion here. My personal game, I had Charleston versus I mean, St. Mary's here. Remember, I did like St. Mary's, but we Me, moved I on. agree. I like St. Mary's also, Kmart. Me and Cheese may have the same bracket. Uh, I had BYU beating Illinois. Me too. Oh, you did? Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, all right, let's go. Uh, Clemson, Baylor, what do you got? Anyone have an opinion here? I think Baylor wins this game. I don't. I don't think Clemson can score enough points to keep up with Baylor. Yeah, I posted uh, Baylor's to the Sweet Sixteen minus one hundred five on Sunday. I was yeah. literally just going to say Clint has a ticket to go to the Sweet Sixteen. So yeah, Baylor there for us. Um, All right, slide it over. Let's Zona. go. Let's go, Texas, Tennessee. Oh, nice. Our boy Tim in the chat says Clemson to the Elite Eight. Let's go. Good luck. Oh, you're just going um, over here. Yeah. <laughs> they have to start. So, so slide back up. Slide up. Kmart, slide up. We'll go back to the top. Sorry. All right. Houston, Nebraska. Is anyone making a case for the flying Japanese nope. motherfucker to beat Houston? Nope. Nope. I agree. Me neither. Advance Houston. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I like Wisconsin here. I love, love Wisconsin in this spot. If they get to Dukies, yeah. I will be hammering. Wisconsin if, for multiple if, units. 
I love if, Wisconsin in the tournament. If we get this game, I will. If we get this game, I will be hammering Wisconsin. I don't give a fuck what the number is. Same. Yep. Yep. All right. Advance Wisconsin. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what the number is. Um, well, they're gonna be well, dogs, well, the same, well, the same. Well, the same. Well, the same. Well, the same goes with BYU Illinois. I told CT bets earlier. If we get the Illinois, if we get the Illinois BYU matchup Saturday afternoon. BYU might be my single largest wager of the season. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Yep. So good thing you're not coming, Kmart. Your <laughs> shit's going to get ugly. The most. Yep. All right. Texas Tech, Kentucky. I, I, hope, I can make I it real. I can make it Saturday so we can fire them with you. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a, I can make a real strong case for Texas Tech here. Um, I, I wouldn't be shocked if Kentucky doesn't even make it to this round. I would I would take Texas Tech because I don't have Kentucky getting there. My man, I agree. Any Clint, what do you got? No opinion. No. Dude. Good good talk. Dude, see Lindsay Texan our fucking group <laughs> chat. Kmart, what do you got? I, I could make a case for either one. So I, I, I like Texas Tech's offense. They play enough Dude, defense. Kentucky. Kentucky's been all over the place all season. So all right, move them I'm up. fine with Texas Tech. Florida Marquette. Um, I'm going I to think, the market. I think Marquette is still good enough, even if Tyler Kolick isn't back. Uh, but I do think he might be back by by then. I took Florida. You took Florida, huh? Oh, I did. Any, does anyone does anyone agree with Chase before we just automatically move Marquette? Clint, no opinion. So no Duke. Fuck him. Kick him out. Kick him out. <laughs> Kmart. Who do you got? Your deciding factor. I mark it. All right, let's go. I'm going to, go the, back to the top. Oh, it's we got more here. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry. Purdue, TCU. I'd, I'd like to make a case that TCU could win this game. I just don't think Purdue loses yet. Right. Yeah, that's how I am. Anyone else? I can't bet against Zach Eady. Yeah, we're going Purdue. We're going Gonzaga. We yep. already we already said Kansas is out. Yep. We're going Creighton. You already know where we're going. And there. I like Tennessee in this. Tennessee. Right. So do I. Tennessee. Yep. This Tennessee right there is the most interesting Sick. matchup. Uh, let's go back up to the top. All right. We get here. Dude, I like – you guys know I'm a big UConn guy. I, if UConn faces Auburn – I think that's a really bad matchup for them. I like Auburn to win that game. So that's my exact. That's my exact uh, elite eight matchup, and I actually have I have Auburn winning that game. I'd, I'd still lean UConn. Kmart, I think UConn's going to find a way, but I really like Auburn in this game. Um, Auburn. That's two for Auburn. Duke, what do you got? I'll stick with our uh, our Huskies, baby. Clint, you're a deciding factor. UConn, Auburn. If this was the Elite Eight game, I would go UConn just by prep time, but the extra couple days, I like Auburn. My man. Ooh. Auburn, so let's go. All right, BYU, Iowa State. Put fucking BYU up there. They are going to oh, score a fucking – they are going to score a fucking million versus them. Get against that defense. Yep, they're gonna <laughs> score a fucking million. They oh, played Jesus. not that long ago. Yeah, what was the final score in that game? I'm looking. I'm looking. Yep. Uh, it was BYU lost by 15. Cool. Love the rebound. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. By five. They they won by five, and then the previous game they lost by seven, uh, 15. So they did. They got blown out in one of the games this year. They got blown. They got yeah. blown out at home and one on the road. Yeah. So make it make sense. Nope. That's a neutral site. BYU by fucking seventeen. Let's go. All right. Next, let's go. Houston, Wisconsin. Anyone make a make a case for Wisconsin here? Hmm. I I think Houston has the easiest draw to the final four of every team in the country. So, just my opinion. Golly, I kind of like Wisconsin here. Um, I I I just. I think they're better than they are. Um, I hate the fact they lost to Illinois twice, um, but I also think it helps them be battle tested for this tournament. So I do like them against Houston because they've teams, they've seen all this shit before. Teams that want to speed it up versus slow it down. Usually the slow it down teams win. So I would lean Houston. Uh, Clint, 
Houston in this matchup. Yeah, Houston it is. All right, Texas Tech Marquette. Tech. It's a spot. I really like Texas Tech. This is the exact matchup I got. I, I have Texas Tech in the Elite Eight. Um, I, I think I think they handle Marquette if we get this matchup. Duke, any opinion? Yeah, I, all right. I, I like their coach. Shaka just hasn't been the same the last five years. So we great raid ads. Let's go. Move it on, Kmart. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's start with North Carolina Grand Canyon. If you pick North Carolina, if you pick Grand Canyon to win this game, just shut your mic off and leave. I'm yeah. not. But but We've again, I, 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 I would argue Wait, it definitely State. seen crazier shit. All right. Baylor, Baylor, Arizona, which Arizona. potentially could be one of the better games of the fucking tournament. Um Sona I might for be, me. I might be on it. Oh, Arizona, I thought I was, Baylor Bears, bitch. I thought I was gonna be on an island. I love Arizona in this matchup. Nope. Zona. Yeah, I'll probably nuke Arizona. Chase, what do you matchup. got? I love Arizona. I think Arizona is probably the second oh, best team in the country. There we go. I agree, and I'm going to tell you right now, Tennessee's not number one. I don't think so either. Oh, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Clint, Doesn't mean they got, won't win. Clint, true. Clint, what do you got here? Eileen Baylor. Fade you, fade uh, you fuckers. Baylor all right, three, all ver day. three versus two. Let's go. Advance, advance Arizona. All right, Purdue Gonzaga. This, this is the spot where uh, – I mean, I, I could see Purdue losing this game. Um, I I have them personally winning one more. I have them losing in the Elite Eight in my bracket. Um, but I don't. I would not have a problem. I, I would not have a problem with playing Gonzaga here. You guys have any opinion? I'm taking Purdue here. They're still Fade Purdue. They're not. The they're not Purdue until the next matchup. Cool. Sick and fucking tired of losing to Purdue. <laughs> All right, Chase. I'm gonna let you start here. What do you got here on Creighton, Tennessee? Because I know this this is this will be another one of will probably be one of the largest bets of my life. I like Tennessee, and the reason I like Tennessee is because of their defensive side of the ball. Creighton loves to, to throw up a lot of shots. Um, I, I've watched Tennessee several times this year. The big thing in the tournament for me with them is they have a true point guard, um, so they're not going to turn the ball over a ton. Um, I like that they can control the ball. Um, you know, obviously they're not going to be as explosive offensively as a team like Creighton, but I do really like Tennessee's discipline. Um, and I love their defense. Yeah. Chase, real quick. So I'm just reading something right here. Did, did you happen to like the 26 points they were down at halftime the other day? No, didn't love it. No, just get, just get. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone knows that Creighton's my, uh, my pick to win the natty. I, I do. I, I totally agree to Tennessee, I think, I don't think is the greatest matchup for this Creighton team. Um, I just have to stick with my gut here. Clint, what do you – so we're 1-1, one, one, one Tennessee, one Creighton. What do you got here, Clint? I would lean Creighton just because Rick Barnes in March has not proven to be a good side. No doubt about it. Duke? 30-1 to one ticket. Let's roll. My man. Kmart? Creighton. I, I actually, I, I just think they have more shooters than Tennessee. They just got to hit them. Uh, that's that's for any team in this tournament. So I like Creighton. I think Creighton. Uh, there's what eight teams this year that qualify that have won the tournament the last like 20 years. We got to be top 20. Yeah, in defense offense and defense. offensive efficiency. Yep. efficiency. UConn, Houston, Purdue, Tennessee, Creighton, Michigan Marquette. State, and Duke. Auburn was in there too. Auburn and Auburn. Yeah, sorry, that was the seven. Yep. All right. Um. All right. Houston. Te uh, Auburn. BYU. Uh, give me the fucking flying Mormons. I would. I would take Auburn. It's yeah. Auburn for me, dog. That's cool. Yeah. I. I have BYU in my final four. I, I got no problem being wrong here. How's Matt? What do you got? Lean with the Tigers. Tiger cool. cog. Clint. Same. Cool. I love being on a fucking island. You guys know that. Cool. Move Auburn. Houston, Texas Tech. What do you guys got? I, I think I think Texas Tech would roll. Or Houston would roll in this game. Yeah, in this matchup, I like Houston here. Yeah. Hard to argue. Yeah. All right. I love being on an island. Give me the Red Raiders. <clears throat> Woo! Fuck Ooh. Houston. They are over 
fucking rated. I wouldn't even be shocked if they don't even get to the Elite Eight. You heard it here first. Yeah. All right. Uh, North Carolina, Arizona. Um, Arizona. I, I love Arizona. <laughs> I, I have them in the national championship. UNC is the most overrated one seed in fucking ages. Yeah, I, I actually don't think they actually get this far, so it's Arizona is a no-brainer for me. Cool. Clint, opinion? Arizona, move them. Move them. All right. Purdue, Creighton. Um, you guys know where I go here. Any, would, anyone, would anyone put their money on Purdue in this matchup? Not in that matchup. Yeah, not in this no. matchup. Let's go. Move them along. All right. Oh well, God. we have the fade you uh, – Final four set with a. You know, one, it's funny. It, I made three brackets, and three of the winners are three, like all three of them are in this final four, which is kind of funny doing this together. Let's go. Yeah, we got one, two, three, and a four seed. So you add that up, a seven, eight, nine, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. So they say the average, the average final four number, if you add them up, I think was like 11.3 was like the average. Uh, no, what, what was it? I saw it earlier. Like the average, the average of the sum of the four that sounds about like, right. Yeah, was like eleven, mm-hmm. like this the last like, fifteen years or whatever. So I like that. Uh, Auburn, Arizona. If we see this matchup, who you guys like? Arizona, Arizona. I have them in my championship, dude. I that's that's uh my championship. Clint, you have a problem using Zona there? I would be on the other side, but I'm over. I'm outnumbered. So go ahead. Cool. Uh, Houston Creighton, which I think would be in a fucking matchup of offense versus defense, like one style versus another. I I think this would be one of the best games of the tournament. Um, anyone have an opinion here? You guys know where I go. I, I don't love the matchup for Creighton because it's just contrast in styles. Um, defense versus offense, I always tend to lean to the defense, but a lot of it is going to depend on how it's officiated. Um, I can, I don't know. I can go either way on that one. Clint, where would you go here? I would go with Creighton because Creighton does play slow every once in a while on offense. So They do. They slow it down sometimes, dude. Yeah. So if, if Houston goes on a scoring drought for like five, ten minutes. They could be down bad. Exactly. And then yeah. if you're down ten – that's going to be hard to come back from on a slow paced game. So I like this is a good matchup for Creighton, I think. Especially especially from a Houston team who we've seen them go six, seven minutes without scoring this year. Duke, do you have an opinion here? Creighton, baby. Let's go. Uh, I already said last last round I'm fading Houston. So of course I'm going to fade them here. It's Creighton well, for me too. Real quick, just so you guys. Yeah. All right. So. I think this is where we're going to run into a little bit of an issue. Kmart, you're a West Coast guy. I know you're an Arizona guy. Tell me why you would bet Arizona in this game. Auburn. I mean, same <laughs> same reason as you. I mean, your preseason pick was Creighton. Mine was Arizona. Um, so mine is, mine is more of I'm just going to stick with my preseason pick um, if it actually came down to this. Yeah, I, I mean, I, re- I really like Arizona. Like, I, I – <sighs> I think this would be a hell of a game. Arizona can score in bunches. You they, think they, you just, think they let just Arizona win it in their home state? Uh, honestly, honestly, like I, I will. Regardless, I'm probably going to get tickets to the final four because I mean that's going to be like 20 minutes from my new house. So, like, if anybody wants to come party, Dude, wow. uh, Chase, Chase, who do you like here? I would lean Arizona, but I just think because that's going to be a high scoring game. So if you're going to put Arizona against a team that wants to try to run the scores up at all, I would. I don't know if anybody can outrun them. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Duke was going to say Creighton because he has a, a Creighton ticket with me. Um, I mean, I have Clint, a Creighton ticket too, so I'm 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 winning if <laughs> this is yeah. the matchup. But what do you got here in this matchup? If if we do get Creighton Houston, I go with Arizona just because. That. What do you mean if we get Creighton Houston? You would just because, Creighton Arizona. If we get if we get Creighton Houston in the Final Four matchup leading to this game, I just think physically Creighton will not be up for Arizona. Wow. So wow, um, really? Oh man, look at that! Fuck. Well, I just want everyone to see it. So 
So I don't share my bra my exact bracket, but my national championship is Zona Creighton. There you go. So and I have Creighton winning the fucking. What's nads. the final going to be? I I have it. Uh, 78-75 Creighton. I, so I was gonna say one sixty-five, so that's probably right on the on the we'll, number. We'll, we'll meet in the middle and go one fifty-eight. Yeah, but all right, boys. Listen, good pod went a little bit longer than we expected, but we broke down the entire bracket, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, this is this is a group consensus. This was for fun. Some you know, some tidbits, some uh, betting angles, and uh, most importantly. Uh, the boys had a good time doing this. Uh, good luck to everybody with your brackets. Hopefully we see some of y'all in turning stone this week. Uh, for the boys that fade you and the four idiots, it was fun. It was real. We will be back next week and tickets will be posted probably Thursday morning. Yep. Peace.